kindly watch this video to the end, okay? Hi, darling. I am here like I never left. This is a boring video, I know. The reason I'm doing this video is that I have this girl called Caroline Bufa. She's also on YouTube and Instagram as well. I remember some time I was so down and she told me that I should just um, put my camera in front of me and say what I am feeling and play the video after and watch it then it worked for me so shout out to Caroline Bufa but today it is just like that but you people are seeing what I'm seeing I'm sorry if you hear any noise in the background I am coming to assess my 2022 even though I was not here this is my notepad that I'll be looking inside before we are starting with God and with God, this year, I didn't really go to church that much. I don't know why, but I'm not sure I even went to church for like even 15 times this year. My prayer life was a mess. I wasn't praying. I was not doing anything. Only thing I used to do was pray when I'm sad or when I'm going through something. School was great. A little. We will manage just like that. My grades, <laughs> in the first semester, my grades were no good at all because I didn't come to school to just come and start making good grades. I just came to like have fun, you know, because I was in a first year and I did not really go out. Why? Oh, roommates. The kind of roommates that I got. We lived like we knew each other before coming to school. That was how my roommates were to me. We were that close. And I was a course rep when I went to school. So now you are watching a beautiful and a family. That's right. I'm going to insert a video where I was coming to class and they were all like, Selzy, I'll put this one down. Selzy. Right. <laughs> Relationship, my God. I feel like relationship wise this year, it was not good. And relationship, I'm talking about everything. This year, I talked too much. Anything that happens to me, I feel like I need to talk. I'm sure it is because I have been depressed for some time. I was that excuse me to say stupid and indeed i am so stupid like why can't i keep things to myself and i was in a place where i felt nobody loved me to the extent of sacrificing for me or changing some habits for me i felt like nobody was willing to do go that extra mile for me i thought a lot of things in fact i have been so down and anytime i am down anything that comes to my mind is what i talk about or i say i have been all over the place i'm not thinking straight this year has, you listen people are saying this year is, has been a, a bad year but mine has been worse like worse 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 but above all god has been good reading meaning into things because of insecurity let's say somebody says your head like coconut then i start reading into it Oh, so all this while you thought I was not beautiful and you are still friends with me and you are still that like do you understand what I'm trying to say yeah that is how I was feeling this year and communication in my relationship both friendship and everything has been bad I mean I'm not putting effort the person is also not putting effort so we are all dead and I am somebody that I value communication they do not tell me what is going on with them but I stupidly told them what is going on with me. Putting other people first before me. I put people first, I put people first, I put people first. Like, I don't even value myself. I am always trying to please people, trying to be a better person for them, trying to put their needs first, put their problem first, but I do not get the same thing in return, in my relationship, in my friendship, in my day-to-day -day activities, like every single thing. Just to make them happy and be like oh thank you but i am so fucking stupid and i regret doing some things with my partner and saying some things to my partner like depression is real depression is real depression 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 is fucking real my people don't let it get to you this year your girl has been going through it Tell me why I cry over unnecessary stuff. Very little things make me cry. Somebody will take my phone cover, then I'm crying. 
somebody will spoil my sheets of paper like maybe tears and i am in tears i feel unappreciated and wanted i feel like nobody appreciates me nobody wants me in their lives i am in this shit alone indeed i am in this shit alone but at least i need somebody that will ring to tell me that i know i am not i am not helping you in this i know you are going through this and i cannot do anything to help you but i am always here for you if you need somebody to talk to i am always here for you if you need somebody to listen to you friends bobo partner family don't talk about it my mommy <laughs> uncle richard i know you are watching me shout out to you that uncle is the only person that listens to me but the rest is sorry for another time i have been mentally unstable i've been thinking a lot the little chance i get because i've not been going out and all that i'm always in my room and netflix is now my new best friend that i've been enjoying and my uncle does not understand any little chance i get i think so if i am there and i'm not doing anything why not take my phone and then just chat you know just watch netflix and let the day go by but he doesn't want that he'd be like eh, the phone is hot the phone is that the data da, 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 da. another regret is expecting so much from people i expect people to do stuff for me that they don't feel they have to or they don't feel obligated to feeling stupid i always feel stupid like anytime i talk about them i get hurt nobody understands me nobody knows like i don't even have a single human being on this planet that can say i know gil she does not like this she does not like that when you do this to her she's going to cry when she talks like this it means she's not okay when she says this it means that Mm -mm, i don't know anybody so if this is what is going on let me do this to make her feel better son or whose daughter i think i need to be a therapist financially there have been in my business there have been ups and downs in my business and i'm not even going to lie about that my business has been all over the place but i mean i can't i can't complain but look at me being sexy like this or i'm broke please the hair that i braided was free my auntie braided it for me free makeup products i have them long 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 my necklace has been there since 1940 i am broke so freaking broke somebody will be like hey you you work you, you you have all you own all these businesses and you don't have money start your own business and if you have not even a person on you you are starving that you don't have a person on you you let the money sleep there and you say i'm saving so that when somebody asks me what is in my bank account you'll be there <clears throat> let me end it here i'm just sharing so that if you are out there you will know that you are not alone in this in this in this book citizen nation we are in my sister or my brother yeah managing a business is a lot my people managing a business is a lot like don't let anybody lie to you i saw clothes three three stores right at 20 cities 15 cities 10 cities still people say they are expensive my health has been all over the place um I was diagnosed of something that can damage my life but i'm not ready to talk about it so let's just move on and i did not get really sick but it was all over the place because of you know um feminine hygiene and, and i got a friend from the uk <laughs> so the person saw me i was so sick that it could show on my face so the person asked me what I was what was wrong with me and then I told the person that I'm not well. And the person bought me some medicines and stuff and then we began crying. Yeah. Let's talk about my family. Let's talk about family first. Family, hmm. They do not accept my personality. They don't accept who I am. They, I feel like I'm working under pressure and tension. There's always tension in the house, so I do not even feel okay. And even using my my phone is a problem using my phone is a problem guys i buy my own data using my phone is a problem the tension in the house always want makes me want to leave home i don't want to stay in the house for even a minute like to me alone i'll always be out of the house doing what i love to do like you know 
doing YouTube videos, going out, having fun, alone, you know. Before I continue, let me tell you that poverty is a disease. Because if poverty is not a disease, then some things happen for some things to happen. I'm not sure how I'll be here in this situation. My social life, my social life, going out is an issue. Because, you see, human beings, eh, when I was at home, like when I'm home and I'm going out, my parents will be forcing me, like they'll be telling me to stay at home and all that, you know the pressure. But the very moment I got to school, because I am in my own zone, even going out is a problem for me. I I feel like, I don't know if I'm the only one who feels that way, but I feel like getting out of bed to dress up, like take my bag, dress up, walk and go out, it's, it's, it's a work for me, like it's a very huge job. For me and i feel lazy to go out and also because i'm very very broke but next year i'ma go out i'ma have fun because you only live once okay i'm not getting somebody to push that part that outer part of me guys it is makeup that is making me look some shit but my skin is all over the place. I don't know if it's a stress pimples, if we have something like depression pimples, and I'm sure it is depression pimples. If I don't know the kind of pimples it is, but I am not like this. There are pimples all over my face. I don't know what is happening. And my color is dimming. If you know me, you know I'm not like this. Maybe I know I'm definitely going to edit this video, so you'll not see my skin, but I have grown very dark that I myself can see that I've grown dark like no this is not my skin i'm not i'm not fair i'm not fair and i'm not old and dark too but now i am turning into charcoal but next year okay let me end it here so this brings us to the end of this video don't forget to subscribe like comment share and i'll see you guys in my next video